Hi all. In this video, we will be discussing the Subhan question preparing the bunny's escape. Storyline is, you are in charge of bunny prisoners and now you have a chance to free them. Once you free the bunny prisoners, they need to go from the prison to the escape pod as quickly as possible. But the space station is kind of a maze where you'll have more multiple walls, corridors, blocking the way. Since you are in charge of the remodeling project, you can remove at maximum one wall in the path of the bunny prisoners from starting point to the exit point. The storyline boils down to a problem where you have a maze and you have to find the shortest path from the starting point to the ending point that from 0, 0, 0,0 to W minus 1, H minus 1 and the shortest path can have at max 1 impassable walls. Here, from a given cell, you can travel in coordinate directions up, down, left, right but you cannot move diagonally. To reiterate the problem, you have a maze and you have to write a function that generates the length of charter, shortest path from prison door to the escape pod and you are allowed to remove one wall in the shortest path. Now the path length is number of nodes you pass through including the entrance and the exit nodes and the starting and the ending nodes are always passable and the maze will be always solvable though you may need to remove a wall or need not remove a wall but it always be solvable and height and width can be anything from 2 to 20 and as we discussed moves can only be made in cardinal directions. Now Pause for a moment and think about the solution. Now the approach we are going to follow is we start from the starting point 0, 0, and cells attached to it. If the cells are already not visited, we store the steps needed from the starting point to the current cell and if the cell is blocked, we don't explore it further or else we add the cell to the queue for further exploration. So by following this approach, we find the shortest path from 0, 0, to all the cells reachable from 0, 0. Now we repeat the same approach starting from W minus 1, H minus 1, the ending point and explore its neighbors and if the cells are not already visited, we store the current steps needed from the ending point to the current cell. If the cell is not blocked, we add it to the queue for further exploration or else we don't add it to the queue. If a cell is not reachable from either the starting or the ending point, for example consider it's not reachable from the end point, that means there is another blocker in the path from end point to the current cell. So if the cell is unblocked, we can pass through the cell and reach that point from the starting, can check whether it's the shortest path or not in the blocked cell. Or if the current cell is also blocked, then we won't be able to consider that path because currently we are only looking at paths with 0 or 1 blockers. So shortest path till a current cell is explored even if it's blocked or not and hence by looping through all the cells and if the current cell is reachable both from the starting and ending point, we initialize a minimum path variable and if the current cell is reachable from both starting and ending point, we put the minimum of minimum path and the shortest path from 0, 0 plus w minus 1 h minus 1 minus 1 into the minimum path variable and once we loop through all such cells, we return the min path. This is the code for the shortest path starting from SX, SY. H is the number of rows in the maze and W is the length of first row that is the number of columns. We initialized both to none initially and then added the starting point to Q and put the starting point shortest path to 1. And while Q is not empty, we pop the first element of the Q and move i in top, bottom, right, left directions and add it to the element which is popped from the queue and if, consider it as the current element. And if the current element is within the range, we check whether it is already explored or not. If not, we assign the shortest path as 1 plus the shortest part of the element that is popped. And if the current element is not blocked, we add it to the queue to further explore its neighbors. 
if it's blocked we want to add it and similarly when the queue is empty that is we have explored all the nodes which are reachable from the starting point then we return board as the output now utilize that shortest path function in the min path function here we take maze as an input and then initialize a variable min length to column into row into two which is greater than the maximum path possible in the maze and we find the shortest path starting from 0 comma 0 and the ending point row minus 1 column minus 1 and for every cell in the maze we traverse and check whether it is reachable from both starting and ending points and if it's reachable like we discussed earlier it won't matter whether it is blocked or not since we are allowed to remove one blocker we put the minimum value of min length and the paths from starting plus ending minus one into the min length variable and once we are done iterating all such cells we return min length as the output now the time complexity of shortest path function is o of n square here since we are calling shortest path function twice the time complexity is o of n square for this line and o of n square for this line and further we are looping through the maze using two for loops hence that will be another o of n square and the total time complexity will be sum of three of n squares will be o of n square thank you